On the answer desk tonight, restaurants are being forced to make more tough choices as food prices increase due to inflation. So do they raise prices or find ways to cut costs somewhere else? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is finding out how another challenge could impact your next night out. Mike. Yes, and Aaron, just to put this in perspective, meat prices have gone up 50% since last year, dairy prices 40%, and restaurants already didn't have a lot of leeway to deal with inflation. Right now, it just feels like every time I turn a corner, there's a new challenge. Connecticut restaurants thought they were headed for a better situation. COVID numbers are coming down, and warmer weather means people can dine outside again. But now inflation is driving up their costs. Certainly our bread has all gone up. Um, I mean, all of our food across the board, uh, kind of domino effect. Experts warn grain prices could soon soar. And according to the Connecticut Restaurant Association, meat prices are up 50% from last year, dairy prices 40%. Even the price of plastic is up for eateries that shifted to takeout. The cost and even trying to source some of these products are, are getting to be very difficult for them. Restaurants also don't have high profit margins, especially with a pandemic that's lasted two years and for some places, a shortage of workers. That makes it hard for owners to know when to raise prices. You don't want to pass along the burden too much um, and still just make sure that you can kind of hit your bottom line. One thing that has helped restaurants like Vaughn's Irish Public House in Hartford, the customers so far continue to come out. We sell beer and burgers, so we're pretty protected there. People always make, uh, make room in their budget for that. The Connecticut Restaurant Association says that some eateries have also had to change their menu by the day, either because prices keep going up on food items or those items aren't in stock that day. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.